In fact, I don't know where to start from. Greetings for Delta States. I'm so happy being in the presence of God. I've come here to give God all the glory. Ah, in fact, it started two years back. I was pregnant. I just noticed a small scar on my leg. Something like small vein. So I went to the doctor and I complained to him. I showed him. He said, ah, it's normal with pregnant women. When you deliver, the vein will go back. I said, okay. I was going for my checkup. Ah, I wasn't comfortable. Before you know, it was growing. It was growing. Ah, it was become something uncomfortable. I was crashed. It was inching me. I keep going to the doctor. I said, doctor, this thing is growing. You know, huh? Is this how this thing normally do with pregnant women? He said, don't worry, just be taking your normal routine drugs. It will go inside. Before seven months time, I was pregnant. In fact, the thing burst. This vein of a thing just burst. It started gushing out blood. I was shouting, my husband came. And it was middle of the night. If you see blood, they were packing blood. Like water. Everybody was confused. I was shouting. They rushed me to the hospital and they checked. They did a lot of tests. They bandaged it and treated. Before you know, this thing was out of hand. Two years, I was suffering. From one hospital to the other. This thing was expanding. I was going from one hospital to the other, spending money, check, going. In fact, I was tired. Pain. If, oh God, God is wonderful. Daddy, I thank you. I was crying. Pain. If you see, it's like the pack of your pepper. Fire, hair fire on my leg. The soul was expanding. They, they directed me to the biggest hospital in Delta State. They did a lot of tests. At the end, doctor said, it's venous ulcer. What do I do? They say, come for treatment. I keep going. I couldn't even walk again. I couldn't walk again. The leg was going out of hand. I called my mom. I called my mom and... My mom said, okay, can you enter the vehicle? This, if I said, I can't. How would I enter the vehicle? I can't walk again. So I was carrying, they were carrying me. My children were crying, my husband, everybody. I was almost giving up. I said, I can't again. What kind of pain is this? The leg will be paining me. Morning and night, I'll be shouting. If you see the saw, oh, if you see the saw, I don't wear clothes. I don't wear clothes. So to cut the story short, they carried me, I don't know where I am again, down to Abuja. After all the old doctors have tried, they say, okay, I should go to Native. I went, before I came to Abuja, I also went for Native. Native gave their own name. It's poison. I don't, I was, I said, okay, I give glory to God. I just said, okay, let me just come to Abuja. I'm fed up. I'm not myself anymore. If you see me, I was like someone, I almost committed suicide because of pain. I couldn't bear it anymore. That was how my husband carried me. I came down to Abuja since September. Last year, I've been in Abuja. And October 1st, they carried me down here. I was sitting outside where sick people sit. That was my first time of entering this place. I prayed to God. I said, God, as my mom has been telling me, God, I've gone to churches. Pastors have prayed. We have done a lot of things. I said, God, if actually God is here, because I've gone a lot of places, God, please locate me. That was my prayer. I was crying. Even when the service was going on, I was in pain. Water was drilling out from my leg. All my clothes were wet. Be healed. 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 Let the poison in the leg dry off. Amen. Dry off. Amen. Dry off. Amen. In 10 Amen. days, Amen. let it dry off. Amen. Let it dry off. Let it dry off. Let it dry off. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a shout anywhere you are. Stand on your feet and shout every day testimony. Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. Jehovah. 